Hey guys, it's Austin John 22 coming to you today with another review, and today we're looking at the fourth and final member of the TMNT team from the 2012 cartoon series on Nickelodeon, Leonardo, the leader of the team, with his twin Ninjata swords, not katanas. As you can see, they are much straighter and shorter proportionately than a katana would be. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, one of them is actually shorter than the other, which uh, would make it the defensive weapon rather than the offensive weapon, uh, if I'm remembering that correctly. Yeah. Which means, depending on which hand he fights with primarily, I should probably switch those out. But quite frankly, I don't really mind, because they just look very, very cool. They are that pseudo silver gray, and they do fit quite nicely in the sword sheaths located on his back which do just peg into the shell on this soft rubbery peg um, at some point I do intend to glue that in because it does pop out relatively easily and I'm gonna go ahead and put his swords away for the rest of the review because they, they are a little loose in his hands just like they are on the, his movie counterpart, um, ironically. And bringing him up closer to the camera, we can see he has gold buckles in his harness, just like uh, Donnie did. And some uh, different ty kind of stitching. I still believe that's stitching in his belt section of the harness. A really nice, uh, determined face. Kind of like he's crying out in defiance. Great... Uh, fabric texturing on the wraps on his hands, arms, and feet, just like the others. And great uh, molded detailing in the knee and elbow pads, the shell on both sides, in the face especially on this guy, and great detailing of muscles as with all the figures as well. He can go up and down at the shoulder, do a full 360, his head can rotate a full 360 and he can move forward and back and can rotate at the hip, can rotate at the elbow, the wrist, the, the knee, and he can bend at the knee nearly 90 degrees and at the elbow nearly 90 degrees. So overall, pretty good articulation, though absolutely standard for this line. And again, just like his brothers, he does kind of sport this minimalistic look that really does manage to translate the appearance of his on-screen counterpart to toy form. Leonardo is about middle height compared to the other turtles, as you can see with him next to Donnie, who is about half of he a head taller. And here he is uh, for an additional size comparison next to his movie counterpart who is quite a bit taller and is also leaning forward a bit. So would probably be even a bit taller if he stood up completely. Uh, whether or not they can stand up any straighter than this in the movies is yet to be seen. But either way, he is a bigger figure and probably a bigger character based on what we've seen in the trailers. Overall, though, Leonardo is a fantastic-looking figure. He is, like the other Battleshell figures, pretty much dead on his cartoon appearance, and I wholeheartedly recommend him. Like the other Battleshell figures, popping open his shell does show additional weapons. We have a kunai knife here, as well as some sort of spike weapon that I do not know the name of. If anyone does, please let me know and some ninja throwing stars, all of which simply slot right in to the shell and then it closes over top of them. As I mentioned previously in my review of Movie Leonardo, he is not typically my favorite character. He's actually pretty far from it. He um, just doesn't interest me as much as someone like Raphael or even Donatello, especially in the new cartoon, though I do like his character and I do like following his character arcs. And I do freely admit that in terms of skill and dedication, he is the best of the Turtles. Uh, though, this new series has done a really good job of veering away from what the 2003 
Cartoon did, making Leo so much stronger and making them more of a team without a central focus character who kind of outshines the others. Of course, being the leader of the team, Leonardo here is absolutely a must-have for any collector. If you enjoy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and like the look of the new cartoon, or you actually watch and enjoy the cartoon, I absolutely recommend picking this guy up if you haven't already. And again, if you don't watch and like the new cartoon, why? What is wrong with you? Uh, once again, I recommend picking this guy up in the Battle Shell version, which uh, came out later in the toy line and is much more accurate than the first release of this character. You'll be able to tell if it is the Battle Shell figure by turning the uh, figure card around and looking at the back and seeing if there is a clear window there showing off the open shell and the weapons stored inside. That pretty much does it for this review and for the reviews of these four figures. Uh, up next is, of course, the big crossover versus review on the 8th, the day that the new movie is released. So check back for that. And if you enjoyed the video, and I really hope you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. In the description down below you will find a link to my blog, my Twitter, and my collections video. Check out that collections video. If you see anything in it that you would like me to review, let me know and I will see what I can do. This has been Awesome John 22 and I will talk to you guys later.